are you today? I hope, that was an interesting move. I've never done that one before. <laughs> I hope you're fine. I really do, really do, really do. I hope you're fine. I really do hope you're fine today. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีไหม Hello, how are you? Well, I hope you're doing fine. I am really excited to be here to read some more books with you. I am in my kitchen today because it is getting darker outside. So I had to come to a room with more light, so you could see what we were doing. So today, before we start, as all of you know, if you've never been here before, well, I'm sorry. Let me say that again. If you've never been here before, you might want to know my name is Miss Stephanie, and this is story time. If you have been here before, you do know that. So hello, welcome to everyone. Today, I would love to share with all of you how excited I am to read with this very special song. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books, read small books, read short books, read tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. I love to sing that song because I really love reading books with you and the happier I get. So hopefully you enjoy it too. You want to sing the song with me? Okay, one more time. Here we go. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books, read small books, read short books, read tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. And today, I was thinking, Sometimes I just like to read books just for the fun of it. I do. Sometimes I just pick a book, I look at the cover, and I think that looks like a fun book to read. So today, that is what we are going to do. I have two books by the same author. Means it's written. The words are written by the same person. And I want to see if you notice. If the stories are similar, which means are they the same in some ways, and I want you to notice if they're different, are they completely different, or are they kind of the same in some parts, kind of different in some parts? You decide. So let's get started with our first book. First book I would like to read to you today is by an author named Laura Numeroff. Some of you have heard of her. She's pretty good. I really like her books. And this book that she has written is called "If You Give a Pig a Pancake," <laughs> and that title just makes me laugh because I think pigs eating pancakes—that's funny. So, like I said, sometimes I just read for fun. So let's see what happens in the story. If you give a pig a pancake. Written by Laura Numeroff, it is illustrated by a lady named a woman named Felicia Bond. So one person wrote the words, the author, um, Laura Numeroff, and Felicia Bond drew the pictures. <clears throat> If you give a pig a pancake, and here's the title page, and look at the little pig peeking in the window. I'm probably saying, "Hey, is there any pancakes in there for me?" <laughs> I wonder what would happen if you gave pig, a pig a pancake. I know they like to eat, so I was thinking the same thing. You'd probably eat it right up, right? Okay, let's see what happens in this story. If you give a pig a pancake, oh, look, see, he was, he's climbing in the window. If you give a pig a pancake, she will want some syrup to go with it. 
Oh, I like syrup on my pancakes. You'll give her some of your favorite maple syrup. Oh, what a sweet little pig. Sitting there on the windowsill with his pink with her pancake. Oh, look. Coming on in. She's pouring some syrup on the pancake. <laughs> I bet you she said, can I please have some syrup, too? She's probably very polite. She'll probably get all sticky, so she'll want to take a bath. Oh. <laughs> look at her. Oh, look at her. Yep, she sure is eating like a pig, huh? Laying on the table, making a mess. Oh, there she goes. Up to take a bath because she got sticky from all the syrup. Oh, my gosh gonna happen next so she's off to take her bath she will ask you for some bubbles oh yeah that makes sense when you give her the bubbles she'll probably ask you for a toy you'll have to find your rubber duck I used to like to play with toys in the bath too oh look at look at her. she's having a great time Oh, look at the little girl. And here she is looking for her rubber duck. <laughs> look at the pig in the background. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, the pig is putting so many bubbles. That's what she's doing. The duck will remind her of the farm where she was born. She might feel homesick and want to visit her family. She will want you to come too. She'll look through your closet for a suitcase. Oh my gosh. We started off with a pancake and now we're headed to the farm. Oh, look at the poor pigs feeling sad, missing home. I've missed home before, for sure. I miss home right now, sometimes. My family lives in a different country, yeah, so I miss them. Then she'll look under your bed. Wait, why was she looking under the bed? Oh, because she was looking for a suitcase. Sorry, guys. I'll just read. <laughs> then she'll look under your bed. When she's under the bed, she'll find your old tap shoes. Oh, no. She'll try them on. And she'll probably need something special to wear with them. Oh, my gosh. She is making a mess. When she's all dressed, she'll ask for some music. You'll play your very best piano piece and she'll start dancing. <laughs> Look at her. Oh my goodness. Uh, she got all dressed up. She got a scarf and a sunflower sweater on. Then she'll want you to take her picture. So, Guess what you're going to have to get, guys? <laughs> yes! So you'll get your camera. you got to take a picture. You need your camera. Oh, my gosh. Ah. I really like these illustrations. The pictures are really good. Lots of detail. When she sees the picture, she'll ask you to take more. That always happens, right? Somebody takes one, you're like, oh, take this picture, right? Yeah. Then she'll want to send one to each of her friends. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the picture. Oh, that's the picture she took. And look, these are some of the more pictures she wants her to take. Oh my goodness. Whoa. You'll have to give her some envelopes and stamps. Because remember, she wanted to send the pictures to her friends. Yeah, and she doesn't have a phone. I mean, they're doing it through the mail. So she needs envelopes and stamps. I don't know if you've ever mailed anything through the mail before, but if you have, you need envelopes and stamps. So she gave her the envelopes and stamps and took her to the mailbox. On the way, she'll see the tree in your backyard and she'll want to build a tree house. Oh my gosh. 
This pig needs to get focused. She keeps getting distracted by all kinds of things. That happens to me too, though. <laughs> Whoa, she wrote a lot of friends. Did you see all those letters? So now she wants to build a tree house. So you'll have to get her some wood, a hammer, and some nails. When the tree house is finished, she did at least finish the tree house. I guess she is finishing everything, but it, she keeps getting more and more ideas, huh? She'll want to decorate it. Whoa, that is amazing tree house. She'll ask for wallpaper and glue. Look at that tree house. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. This pig has some great skills, right? When she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get all sticky. Feeling sticky will remind her of, you think she was sticky earlier in the story. Oh, that's right. Let me see. You're right. Feeling sticky will remind her of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably ask you for some. <laughs> Good memory, guys. Here she comes. And chances are, if she asks you for some syrup, She'll want a pancake to go with it. <laughs> the end. Oh my gosh. The beginning of the story, she started with a pancake, and at the end, she ended up in the same spot. <laughs> I love that story. Oh, everything she did reminded her of something else and gave her more ideas. Wow, that was a good story. I love it. I've read it before. It's one of my favorites. Okay, go ahead and stand up so we can get our wiggles out. Today, we're going to do two wiggle songs. One is going to be a quick, if you're happy and you know it, because I sure hope there's some people out there that are happy and know it. And if not, this song cheers me up sometimes. Are you ready? Oh, you know what? I, It's okay. I Sometimes I, I like to have my reminding myself of words that go with the songs, but it's okay. I think I remember this one. Ready? Okay, <clears throat> but help me out. Okay, here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Good job, guys. All right, here we go. If you're happy and you know it, shrug your shoulders. Mm -mm. If you're happy and you know it, shrug your shoulders. Mm -mm. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shrug your shoulders. Mm -mm. Good. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, wiggle your nose. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your nose. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your nose. If you're happy and you know it, wave your arms, ooh, ooh. If you're happy and you know it, wave your arms, ooh, ooh. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave your arms, ooh, ooh. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. Great wiggles, guys. Okay, last one. We haven't done this one in a long time. So we are gonna do a little bit of tootie ta, a short, a short tootie ta. If you've never done tootie ta with me, get ready. Okay, here we go. Make sure you have some room. All right. Okay, I'm gonna scoot back. Here we go. You get your thumbs just like this for a second, and we're just gonna start with a tootie ta, a two. Thumbs up, thumbs up. A tooty tap, 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 a t
Good. Ready? Here we go. Starting from the beginning. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Elbows back. A tootie tap. A tootie tap. Tootie tap tap. A tootie tap. Tootie tap. Tootie tap tap. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Elbows back. Feet apart. Feet apart. A tootie tap. Tootie tap. Tootie tap. Alright, two more. Here we go, ready? Thumbs up, thumbs up, elbows back, elbows back, feet apart, feet apart, tongue out, tongue out. A tizzy tap, a tizzy tap, a tizzy tap, tap. A tizzy tap, a tizzy tap, a tizzy tap, tap. Okay, last one. Here we go. Thumbs up, thumbs up, elbows back, elbows back, feet apart, feet apart, tongue out, tongue out, eye shut, eye shut. Here we go. A tizzy tap, a tizzy tap, a tizzy tap, tap. A tizzy tap, a tizzy tap, a tizzy tap, tap. Okay. Good job, guys. Okay, let's do a high five. Psh, high five here. Psh. All right, hands up. Woo! Now float yourself back down, sitting in a comfortable spot, ready for our next book. Here we go. Remember that I told you that both books are by the same author and actually illustrated by the same illustrator. So the words are written by the same person and the pictures are drawn by the same person as well. But this book, now the first book was called If You Give a Pig a Pancake. The second book is called If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. And remember, thinking about, hmm, is there, is there anything in these two books that look, seems the same? Or is there, is there anything in these two books that seems different? Hmm, or both, let's see. All right, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Some of you are like, I've seen that book. It's one of my favorites. I love to reread stories too. That's another thing that's fun about reading. Is if you've read it already and you just love it, you're like, I'm going to read it again. Here I go. All right. If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Numeroff. I love this mouse. He's so cute. I just can't even handle it. Here's the title page. You know, if you give a mouse a cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie, oh, this little guy is so small because he's a mouse. Look at him. See him? <laughs> he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, oh, let's see. Oh, okay. So he's got his milk. He says, hey, can I get some milk? And you're like, yeah, that makes sense. Cookies and milk. He's got his milk. But when you give him the milk, no. Is it going to make him think of another idea? Let's see. <laughs> yes. And it makes sense, too. He'll probably ask you for a straw. But when he's finished, he's going to ask you, for a napkin. It actually says he'll ask you for a napkin. Sorry. <laughs> Look, it looks full. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache from drinking his milk. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice a hair that needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for for, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. And you're right, a pair of nail scissors, because they're small, you know, and he's a mouse, so he's not gonna use regular size scissors for his little tiny hair. <laughs> when he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. Oh, that's considerate. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. Well, 
that's fine with me. I bet you it's fine with that little boy, too. Look at him. Oh, cutting his little hair. He may even end up washing all the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. Yeah, that's a lot of hard work. Bet you he's tired. Look at that. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. Oh, see, he likes to read too. Oh, oh look, he's getting so comfy. So you'll read to him from one of your books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. He likes to see the pictures like you do. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his very own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. Oh, he'll draw a picture. Look at, he has a regular size piece of paper, so it's really big. Whoa, he can lay on it. Lie on it. Sorry about that. When the pic oh my gosh, this is amazing art. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. That's important when you when you draw your own, make your own creations that you sign your name to it so people know who the artist is. Oh. Look at that picture of his family. Oh, it's so pretty. Sweet. Oh, I'm sorry. He'll want to sign his name with a pen. So he's asking for a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need, what do you think he's going to need to hang his picture up on your refrigerator? Oh, that's one. That could work. That too. Oh, let's see what, what the author decided to write in their story. Which means he'll need scotch tape. So they decide to use tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that, and there they are, getting the tape. He hung it up on the refrigerator and he's looking at it. But looking at the refrigerator will remind him that, hmm, I wonder what it's gonna remind him of. Hmm. <laughs> It'll remind him that he's thirsty. So, <laughs> this is my favorite illustration. Look at his cute face. He's like, <coughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> I love that picture. So, it'll remind him that he's thirsty. So, he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, what do you guys think he's gonna want next? <laughs> I think you might be right. He's going to want a cookie to go with it. You were right. <laughs> oh, look. Wow, that mouse was busy. Look at him. So sweet. That's the end of that story. So these are the two stories we read today by Laura Numeroff. One was, if you give a pig a pancake, and the other was, if you give a mouse a cookie. So you guys, I see you thinking already, like, hmm, were there some things that were the same in those stories? Were there some things that were different? Yeah, I noticed both, things that were the same and things that were different. Make sure you talk about it with your family. Now, you can rewind and you can rewatch the stories again to double check to see if you don't remember. Today, I have a craft for you. After we read for fun and we um, listened to two stories by the same author, illustrated by the same illustrator as well, um, you get to decide, oh, and actually, you don't even have to decide if you don't want to. 
but our craft um, is going to be a fun craft where fun and simple and easy craft that you get to decide if you want which character um, which story was your favorite story but if you can't decide it's okay you can do both um, I'm gonna pause you for just one second and I'll be right back let me just get the materials okay welcome back so I have what I have in my house is I have some paper bags they're just like little paper bags they're white you might have you might have seen them that are brown either way is fine whatever color you you have is good if you don't have paper bags you can make these things on a piece of paper if you'd like I did it on a paper bag I made um, you're gonna get to make a puppet of your favorite animal from your favorite story so it might be the pig it might be the mouse so what I'm gonna do is show you we're gonna do part of it together and part of it is already finished so let me show you first First, you're just gonna get a plain paper bag. I don't have one of my plain white ones, but it's just gonna be a white paper bag like this. Um, one side you'll see is just flat, flat, flat. The other side has a little flap on it, okay? On the flap side, you wanna color, so this is pink, because this on this one, I want to, I'm gonna make the pig, because the pig is pink. But if you are like, uh-uh, my favorite character was the mouse, then on that flap side, and you can actually color the whole paper bag if you want, um, but on the flap side for the mouse, it's brown. And I just colored with crayon. You can do it with marker, you can do it with watercolor if you want, but then you have to wait for it to dry first and then do the rest of the steps. But do that, this is brown. If you want, you can do the whole paper bag. If you have a brown paper bag for the mouse, it's already colored, no need to color. Um, and like for the pig, you could color it all pink. I just did the flap because that's the part I'm gonna you show you the steps for how to make the face and the ears. Okay, ready? Here we go. All right, so what I did, I actually used a paper plate just for sturdy um, material. You could use um, cardboard, extra cardboard box. But this is just what was handy at the time. And what I did, and I'll just show you, let me just, um, turn this down for you. I drew the ears for the mouse. They are circles with a circle inside. Another circle with a circle inside. You'll notice these little <laughs> squared tabs at the bottom that I did not color. They are there because when I go to glue them to the bag, that's my glue tab or my tape tab, whatever, however you stick it to your bag. And this is the little pink nose. All right. So I did that with pencil first just to make sure I liked the size, and then I traced it with marker. But basically what you will do with this is you are going to cut those pieces out once you're done. Like I colored it and everything first, as you can see. I'm going to cut them out now in front of you so you can just see what I mean about these tabs. Notice I just kind of cut them apart as much as I can. And then I'm gonna cut, and you can ask your family to help you with the cutting. But remember guys, we can use our shapes to draw. So that is what's cool. See these ears are circles. All right, so now I am going to I'm cutting out this. See, notice I'm going to show you when I'm done how this ear is going to have a little white kind of tab at the bottom. See that? Okay. And then you just put it to the side. This is the mouse ear. As you can see, it's colored brown with pink in the middle. Now, if you want your mouse, if you think your mouse, the mouse in the story is more of a gray color, you can color your mouse the color, that color if you'd like. I just, he looked a little bit brown to me. But then as I was reading the story, it was kind of hard to tell. So. so either way is fine. Okay, so now you have your two ears. Check. Then the little nose right there. I just am going to cut it out. And you might be thinking, but what about his eyes? Well, hold on a second. His nose, by the way, is just kind of like a small little 
triangle a little bit. It's a little tricky. Let me get this extra off. Usually when I'm cutting something small, I try to get that extra paper off, but there we go. Okay, so what you're gonna do, hi, I'm back. So what you're gonna do is, if you are using glue, you're gonna want to put a dot of glue here and then you'll glue it to the, the glue tab. You put the glue on the front of that tab where you can see the color of the ear, but you put the tab right behind the bag. So then that's sticking there and the ear sticks up nicely. I'm gonna use tape in the interest of time. So I'm just gonna put tape on the back of this like this. And I'm gonna put tape across here this mm -hmm. like so Ta -da! <laughs> so all I did was I just put tape across the back of those tabs so easy schmeasy lemon squeezy then on the nose part what I do and I am still going to use tape but if I wasn't trying to you know make sure I was using your time like wisely I don't want you here forever I would probably glue it and wait for it to dry, but I'm gonna just tape it today. I'm gonna use tape. And then you might be wondering, well, what about his eyes? Well, good question. If you notice in the book, well, I noticed his eyes kind of were like little, they were kind of like little um, humps, like he's smiling. So I'm gonna put little humps here, like that, with marker. And then all you have to do from his nose is put little whiskers like that. And you have got a mouse. What do you think about that? You have yourself a mouse puppet. Now, if you're like, wait, he still needs more of a mouth. What is, where's his mouth? Oh, no problem. What you do is you just put from the middle of the nose, like a little hump out, and then another hump out like that. There you go. And there's your mouse from if you give a mouse a cookie. And if you want, you can draw a little round cookie and stick it to him. But the cool thing is, the fun thing is, is if you want, then after that, if you do have a paper bag, you can put your hand in and you can act out the story. Yeah. So what do you got, Kulik? That's Kulik. She was helping walk my dogs and she helps at my house all the time. So kind. So I could read to you. <laughs> so anyway, there's your little puppet and you can act out the story. And, and he can ask, say, hey, can I have a cookie? Mm. And you can pretend he's eating a cookie and then, ooh, I'm thirsty. Can I please have some milk? So you can act out the story. I won't act out the whole story. Now, if you want to make the pig, some of you might be like, excuse me, the pig was my favorite. Don't worry. I've got, here's my pig bag. I have painted, remember, on the flappy side. Now, if, you're, if you want, you can paint the whole bag. You can color it all pink if you want. I just did this in interest of time, so you're not here forever. <laughs> I did it with crayon. You can do it with marker or paint. Now, what I did was the ears of a pig are kind of like a little bit of a drop, you know, almost like a raindrop a little bit. So it has a little bit of a point at the top. It's not, I mean, even if you did a triangle with little curve, that's fine. Remember, it can be pig-ish. We read the book Ish last week and it doesn't have to look exactly like mine. It's your pig. You make it look how you want it to look. But notice, I also put those little tabs. Those tabs are just a little thing I learned from making puppets. That I was like, oh, it's nice to have just that extra little piece of paper at the bottom to tape or glue, have a place to put the glue so it doesn't get on the actual ear or whatever I'm trying to glue on the back. It's usually ears that I that I use it for. So anyway, I, paint, I colored the, all the ear, 
pink, except for the little tab. And again, as I said, I am going to tape again. And my tabs here are not as long as my other ones. I wish I had made them a little bit longer, but it's okay. I think it should work out okay. I think it should. Let's see. Ta da! Oh, that one's showing a little bit. That's okay. And then underneath, I mean, I'm sorry, then on the face, you might be thinking, well, what about the nose? You forgot to make the nose. Well, actually, I, when I'm making a pig nose, and I should do this in pencil first, but I forgot to bring my pencil with me. So with the pig nose, all you have to do is make a big oval like this. And then you just make two dark circles. And now, oops, trying to make them, there you go. And now you've got your pig nose and then you can just put your little eyes. His little eyes were so cute, I love them. They were just like this. And if you want, you can, yeah, I think that was all. Now, his little mouth was so sweet, it had a little smile. So if you wanna put your nose a little bit higher and put his mouth on the pink part, you can. But I didn't space it out right. And I did it in marker first, so. But there you go. There's your little pig. And there's your little mouse. So if you can't decide and you just like really like both of these characters, you can make both. And you can act out both of the stories. For the pig, if you'd like, you can give him a pancake. I'm sorry, this is the pig. <laughs> you can give him a pancake. You can put a curly tail on the back if you want. You can create this however you'd like. On the mouse, you can put his little blue overalls on him on the bottom if you'd like. Up to you. I hope you have a great time creating your favorite character from your favorite story from today. Or, if you couldn't choose, creating both of them. I would love to see your puppets. Um, please send them to the Bumblebee Free Library um, site so I can see them too. I really enjoy seeing your creations. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye dear readers, goodbye to you. Sawadee ka, that means goodbye as well. <laughs>